what's up guys, Rado here with Dirt and Iron. Many of you are asking what is my next bike, what I'm gonna buy next. So today in this video, let's talk about it. Before we go any further, today's shout out goes to Joel from Florida. Hey, thanks a lot brother for getting a t-shirt and thanks for all the support, I really appreciate it. If you guys don't have a t-shirt yet, there is link below in the description, you know what to do. If you saw my last video, you know that uh, I sold two of my dirt bikes. I sold KTM and WR. So I have all these uh, empty stands in my garage now. I'm sitting, I'm sitting on one, there's another one. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I wish I can just take all the money I got uh, from those dirt bikes and add something on the top and buy some really nice dirt bike. But, uh, but unfortunately, that's uh, not the case because uh, there were some uh, other important things in my family that I had to take care of. So. Uh, uh, it's one of you. Is that one of you told me that uh, I should buy something quickly because my wife might need another blender soon. Yeah, something like that happened. We had some need for uh, some new blender. I guess you can call it that. And uh, I don't really have uh, all the funds that uh, I, I gained from these dirt bikes, and uh, I'm not able to put anything on the top at this time. But I still have something left, and uh, with that amount, I have certain uh, you know bike in mind that I want to buy. Now, uh, many of you said uh, it's gonna be 300 two-stroke. Uh, I would love to get 300 two-stroke and I will get 300 two-stroke for sure. But then uh, checking the prices, looking at cracks last uh, several months, I don't think it would be this time. Because the bike I would actually like uh, is, uh, is, you cannot buy it below $5,000, like 4,700 maybe or something like that. And that's uh, way out of my budget. So for this time, for now, I'm not going to buy 300 two-stroke. And it doesn't make sense to buy another 250 two-stroke because I just sold one. And uh, frankly, I think I'm not going to get two-stroke this time because, uh, you know, uh, all the guys I ride with now, they are riding four-stroke and uh, they are really fast on, uh, on the trail riding. I have really difficult time to keep up with them. And uh, it, just, it just seems a little more smoother to be on a four stroke, you know, you have engine brake, you can go off the gas. This was one point about a two stroke I didn't really like. You go off the gas, there is uh, no engine brake, that's one thing. And also, if you go off the gas and you allow your engine to do braking, it's not good for a two stroke engine if you do it too much. So uh, I would uh, find myself, you know, when I was riding, pulling the clutch in and uh, it, uh, it wasn't as smooth as uh, I would like it to be. So I decided uh, for some time now, that I will buy four-stroke enduro off-road bike, stay away from two-stroke for some time, and ride four-stroke only on the trails, and really get into that feeling, get into that groove, and get a little bit faster, you know, get a little bit smoother on those trails. I know I had WR450, but that bike just wasn't made for a kind of riding I do. It was okay for the fast trails, but not really for the technical stuff. So I want to get something that would be good for both for technical, for fast trails, for a little bit of a single track. If uh, I look at my riding, it's, uh, it's not a lot of first gear single track stuff. We don't really have that much uh, gnarly single, single track around here. So it's mostly like second, third gear, a little bit flowy stuff. And four stroke uh, is doing really great on that kind of trails. At least, you know, when I'm following my friends and uh, see how they ride it, if I borrow their bike, then uh, I feel really good on, of the, on those bikes. So that's why in this time, I'm gonna take all the money that I have left and I'm gonna search for off-road model, four-stroke dirt bike. So <clears throat> something like uh, 350 or 450, something like that. But I need to find a really good deal and I don't wanna get some beat up bike. I need to find a good deal that will not be expensive and the bike will still be in really good condition and uh, most important, what I really want to get is that uh, off-road suspension, off-road valving. Because that, that's making a huge difference. You know, I was, all my bikes now, I was riding on the trails, except for WR, other bikes are MX bikes. So even though I try to tune the suspension, they, they don't really perform well on the, on the trails. You know, when I fly on the trails, all these little bumps are just too, too harsh. I don't like that. I want to get something that is plush in the beginning and then yeah, I can still hit some jumps. Something that was made for the trails. I know that I can go out and spend $700 or $1,000 and get my MX bike tuned 
to be able to perform on the on the trails but I just didn't feel like doing that you know if I buy bike for two thousand dollars I don't want to go ahead and spend another thousand dollars to turn the suspension so this time I'm looking for a bike that already comes with that uh, suspension that is made for trails that kind of volume ideally it would be some kind of XC or uh, you know T or a TE XC something like that that already has this racing uh, suspension dial for enduro riding but uh, I told you in the beginning I don't have a lot of funds, right? So I need to look for something that uh, is maybe a little bit older and uh, in good condition. I want to get uh, either 350 or 450 and uh, I want to get European bike. I want to get hydraulic clutch because uh, on those trails I'm on the clutch a lot. So I want to use one finger and uh, be on the trail for 30 minutes and using your one finger continuously you're gonna get tired if you are pulling that uh, cable like on WR I got really tired when I took my RMZ on the same trail I got really tired I had to stop because my hand was just hurting too much on a KTM pulling the hydraulic clutch it was completely different so definitely I'm gonna get something with the hydraulic clutch so it would be European bike uh, KTM, Husky, uh, Husaberg, uh, something like that, you know. There is not a lot of I can choose from. No Japanese bikes at this time I'm looking at. I'm only looking at uh, European bikes. And uh, I want to get something that is not too bulky, not too heavy. Something that is uh, quite uh, capable on the trail. Something that I can just throw wherever I want. Because that was another thing I didn't like about WR. It just felt too heavy when I had to maneuver it. It just really felt too heavy. So I want to get a nimble bike. I have my eyes on a few bikes, uh, I'm gonna make a few phone calls, I already did a few and uh, if everything goes uh, right according to my plan, very soon I will have video to share with you guys and show you my new bike. So stay tuned, in the uh, next couple days hopefully there will be a video coming where I can share all of this video. Thanks for all of you who commented and you know who suggested what kind of bike I should get, who gave me some advice or just shared their opinion. Thanks a lot, I really appreciate it. Thank you for staying tuned and don't forget guys, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you later.